the physical parts of the machines are stronger and stiffer, the machine's faster, the ball screws are bigger, so you've got a more accurate, more rigid, more flexible system that's modular. <laughs> During these tech days here in Chemnitz League, we've seen a lot of machines that are in action, cutting metal and, uh, and essentially ready to, you know, ready to go to uh, to the end user. This one, pretty different. I mean, what, what, what are you showing here and why? Well, this, this is really the launch of a whole new concept. This machine design and construction will replace what, it, what is in existence today as our large range, large machinery range. Uh, and what's the importance of making it modular and what parts are modular? Well, what this means, this is the smallest of the, of the new range, so a 1250 table. And the modular concept allows us to mix and match the, the table groups, the column sizes, the X beds, so we could have a, a wide X with a low column if we want a, a heavy part on the table that doesn't require a, a, a large Y axis stroke to, to, make, to maximize the rigidity. So Within a, within a kit set, we can build these machines up exactly as we want them, so they're optimised. And would that apply to the pallet systems here as well, I guess? I mean, here... Well, un unlike the existing range, the new range will be without the pallet system. It'll be a single table system that you can then specify with pallets if you want. So one, two, three or four pallets or, a, or an FMS system. And your head technology, um, it's pretty dynamic moving around. Yeah, and, and we, we, we maintain the existing number of options on different spindle and head configurations and we add more now so there's more options for for uh, flexibility within different work pieces and what stands out to me here about seeing this in operation here again is is, is your tool system it, it, it's quite high, it looks like there's a lot of capacity, you know, you can get a lot of tools in there. What's different with what you're showing here compared to what you currently offer? Well, one of the objectives with this machine was to reduce the footprint. So we've reduced the footprint by 20% compared to its predecessor. And one of the reasons for that is by utilising this matrix tooling system, which is higher, which enables a smaller footprint, but also more capacity. So there's over 800 tools within that matrix system. The weight of the tools has increased to 100 kilograms. And we can also have attachments, heads, different heads and, and heavier heads attached to the spindle as well. And does the, does the modularity um, extend to the control systems on these machines as well? The control systems are all standard now through the compact range and on this, uh, on this machine range as well. And we offer either a FANUC or, or a Siemens control, but the HMI is, is, is Starag or Hecat's own HMI. And for showing your customers how important is it to, for them to be able to see the machines. Forget the modularity, but let's have a look at how these things are built. Well, the construction's changed as well. So as well as the modularity, the, the physical parts of the machines are stronger and stiffer. The machine's faster, the ball screws are bigger. So you've got a more accurate, more rigid, more flexible system that's modular. When they're going to be available? They're available now.